Teller pindang or pindang eggs are hard-boiled eggs cooked in pindang process, common in Indonesia and Malaysia. The eggs are boiled slowly in water mixed with salt, soy sauce, shallot skins, teak leaf and other spices. Due to its origins, it bears striking similarities with Chinese tea eggs. However, instead of black tea, this version uses leftover shallot skins, teak leaves or guava leaves as dark brownish coloring agents. Terminology The term pindang refer to the cooking process of boiling the ingredients in salt together with certain spices that contains tannin, usually soy sauce, shallot skin, guava leaves, teak leaves, tea or other spices common in Southeast Asia. This gives the food a dark brown color and lasts longer compared to plainly boiled eggs, thus pindang is an Indonesian traditional method to preserve food, usually employed for fish and eggs. The technique is native to Java and Sumatra. Other preserving method includes asin or cured and dried in salt, and dendang which is cured and dried in sugar, akar pickling, and also asap smoked. Indonesia Today, the teller pindang is widely spread throughout Indonesian archipelago, however it is found more prevalent in Javanese cuisine of Central and East Java, and also South Sumatra. Despite sharing similarities with Chinese tea eggs that employs tea leaves, this Indonesian version favors the use of teak leaves, guava leaves or spared shallot skin instead. The use of teak leaf as coloring agent might suggest its Javanese origin, since Java is famous for its teak wood for centuries. The teak leaf is also used to give reddish color in Yogyakarta's gudig, or even as dyeing material in traditional Javanese batik making. Indonesian cuisine favor the use of shallots than common onion, and subsequently the peeled shallot skins are usually collected and spared as key ingredient to make pindang eggs later. The teller pindang is often served as part of tumpung, nasi kuning or nasi champur. In Yogyakarta, teller pindang often served with nasi gudig or just steamed rice. It is also part of Chinese Indonesian lontong kap go meh. Those dishes, the tumpung, nasi kuning, and lontong kap go met, are important ceremonial dishes for each respective cultures, since eggs are traditionally symbolize fertility, regeneration and luck. Malaysia Teller pindang in Malaysia is most popular in Johor, the southernmost state in peninsular Malaysia. The true origins of the dish is unclear, however the cuisine most likely originated from Chinese merchants and settlers who came to the country in the 19th century through the once independent sultanate, having significant similarities to tea eggs. Another possible theory suggests that it was probably brought by Javanese immigrants instead, that settled in Johor about a century ago. The recipe might have caught on due to its preserved nature. With Johor being a hub of international trade, it would be useful to the many merchants at sea who can benefit from such an easily stored food item that lasted for weeks. The common ingredients of teller pindang are shallot skins, tamarind, fennel, coriander, soy sauce, and various leaves such as guava leaves or mangosteen leaves, although different recipes have different mixes of these ingredients or even additional ingredients, giving it a unique flavor. The notable difference between Malaysian and Indonesian teller pindang is the use of teak leaves, which are replaced with other leaves in most traditional Malaysian teller pindang recipes. Teller pindang has a deep cultural heritage within Johorian, and in turn Malaysian, society. However, the daily use of teller pindang is now far more uncommon today due to its complicated and time-consuming method of cooking, restricted to mostly festivities or commercial sale. In turn, this creates an appreciation for the cuisine, regarded as an important part of Malay tradition. References External links Indonesian marbled hard-boiled eggs or teller pindang recipe from food.com Teller pindang recipe, in Indonesian